guys, welcome back to our repair guys. In today's video guys, uh, we're going to show you how to test the car battery and the charging system as well on Mercedes. Uh, you know, we rebuilt this one, we got it from a uh, auction, it was hit in the phone. Finally, we're done uh, repairing that thing, looks amazing. But we want to make sure that the battery is good, charging system is good before we start driving it. Okay, so this is the battery tester, okay, right here. It's extremely easy to use. Okay, so let's see. I'll explain you how to use it and how you can check your battery system as well. So you can do a few tests with the vehicle on or with the, with the vehicle off. Uh, we haven't even charged the battery on it. Okay, we just drove it here in town for a little bit. So uh, what I'm going to do, you can see it's an 800 amp battery. Okay, 800 amp or if you're using amp hours, you can do this one as well. You can see it goes from 30 to 200 amp hours and uh, the cold cranking amps it's from 100 to 2000. Hours is 800. So you plug it in and that's what you get. Okay, we all how it's and you can see that we have 12.02 volts. So we're going to click OK. Select English. Well, let me go back to show you what languages you have quick if you're wondering. Okay, I'm going to scroll quick. Okay, that's it. English. Out of vehicle test. Okay, we're out of the vehicle, not inside. Select OK. And this one is before charging. You can switch to after charging. Let's say you charge your battery all the way and you want to test if it's good. You can select after charging. Click OK. Okay, now this one, uh, you can see it says regular flooded AGM battery, so you can scroll down to select, okay, your battery type, AGM, right here, ours. Okay, cold cranking amps, we'll be using 800, okay, 800 on the battery, you can see, you can change it if you need to, and this is the number that we're looking at. We select OK. And it's testing now. So let's see how it's going to be now. So we have good charge right here. Right now we have 555 amps and the car hasn't been driven much at all, just a little bit here in town. And that's it. So you can see it's, it's pretty good so far. Another thing that you can do, okay, let me go back. Uh, you can do the in-vehicle test, not out of vehicle, in the vehicle. So. Let me show you how that thing works now. Okay, we select English, in vehicle test. Okay, before charge, so we're going to select AGM type of battery. Perfect, same thing. Okay, so now it's testing again. And I'll show you how you can check your charging system as well. Okay, start engine now. So we need to go ahead and start the engine now. Okay, and uh, you test the cranking test. Okay, you can see it says cranking test. This one will tell us if uh, if the battery is strong enough to start the vehicle. Okay, let me get the... Okay, you can see, it says RPM detected, it's testing right now. Okay, let's see how it's going to be now. Cranking normal. You can see the cranking time, how long it took, all that stuff. Okay, charging test, we confirm okay, load it test. So that's what it's doing now, it's putting load on it, so you can see if actually the alternator is performing good. Increase revolutions. Okay. That's good. When it says increase revolution, just give it a little bit of gas. Okay, you can see repo normal loaded. No loaded, that's the difference. It holds 14.7 almost loaded, so that's uh, pretty good. It's, it's good. Okay, so it's definitely charging good. So that little tool, guys, it's pretty powerful little tool that can save you quite a bit of headache. 
quite a bit of quite a bit of money because if you go to a shop and they tell you you need a new battery or a new alternator you can test it yourself and see that just one time investment that can pay off in just one time use so thank you guys for watching please subscribe many more videos to come